We are back on the trail with three more coincidences surrounding the Madonna of the Trail. The original statue was placed in Bethesda, Maryland in 1928 at the first rest area on the National Old Trails Road. Coincidence number one. The statue in Bethesda and the one in Springerville, Arizona were moved. Coincidence number two. FDR's New Deal program built a post office behind each statue in 1937. Coincidence number three is of a more personal nature. Stay tuned until the end for this strange and final coincidence. Coincidence number one. The statue in Bethesda and the statue in Springerville, Arizona were moved. Moving these statues is no easy task. These are 10 foot tall, 5 ton statues standing on a base weighing another 12 tons. Our first stop is at the Pioneer Monuments in the American West. This site explores statues honoring early settlers in the Old West. Bethesda, Maryland moved the Madonna of the Trail statue in 1986 to accommodate road widening and construction of a subway stop after spending three years in storage, removed for about six months in 2004 after a sinkhole developed, causing her to list like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Restored, 1992. Springerville, Arizona moved the Madonna of the Trail statue. Circa, 1957, moved to 100 yards east to accommodate town's first traffic light, 1987. Moved from the north to south side of Main Street. Restored 2006. I am wondering why they moved these statues. Were they covering up a vault of relics or hiding a secret passageway to an underground labyrinth? The Bethesda statue did mention that it was sinking. Was it sinking into an underground tunnel? They also mentioned it was a subway stop. Is the Bethesda subway repurposed from a larger network left over from an advanced Tartarian civilization? Look at where all these Madonna of the Trail sites are. Could they all be part of an ancient Tartarian subway network? Coincidence number two. FDR's New Deal program built a post office building behind both statues in 1937. Our second stop on the trail is the Living New Deal site. This website was covered in Wooden Nichols' video, Murica, by design. The New Deal was an amalgam of dozens of programs and agencies created by the Roosevelt administration and the Congress. The Living New Deal, Projects in Bethesda, Post Office, former Bethesda, Maryland, completed 1937. The historic New Deal Post Office building in Bethesda, Maryland, sometimes misattributed to the WPA was constructed with Treasury Department funds. The new classically inspired post office was built on Wisconsin Avenue. The Neo-Georgian building was constructed out of native stone trucked in from the Stony Hearst quarries out River Road. The post office remained in use until 2012 when faced with mounting financial difficulties the USPS United States Postal Service closed it in 2012 and sold it for four million to the Donahoe companies. The New Deal mural from the post office has been restored and relocated to Bethesda's Chevy Chase Regional Service Center. The Living New Deal projects in Springerville Post Office, Springerville, Arizona. The Springerville Post Office is simple in its appearance, yet it also displays an eclectic collection of architectural design styles. The flat roof with parapets and six water spouts are characteristic of Pueblo Revival. The arched windows suggest Mission Revival influences and the twisted columns and lantern at the entryway arise from Spanish Baroque architecture, funded by the Public Works Administration and constructed in 1937. The building was designed to house multiple government agencies including the U.S. Forest Service. It seems odd that they would build a building behind a statue nearly 10 years later. Don't people usually build statues in front of an important building? 
Maybe they just remodeled these Tartarian buildings in 1937. Now these really do look like they could be the train stations of a long forgotten ancient underground rail system. Will each of these sites have a government building that was built behind them in 1937? What coincidences lay ahead on the National Old Trail Road? Coincidence number three brings us to something I have been thinking about for the last few days. I have been watching a lot of John Levy's videos lately, and I can't help but think this looks like some kind of Antiquatech. I had an epiphany the other day. I have this old satellite dish that I don't use anymore. I canceled the service years ago and have repurposed the dish as a bird bath. I was thinking how this dish was part of a large, highly advanced communication network that receives invisible signals out of the air. I am unable to receive those signals now, but some people still do. I feel like this is a modern version of Antiquatech. I am using a piece of tech as something simple for the birds to drink from. Well anyways, the birds seem to like it. Until next time, you decide, coincidence or conspiracy.